Hey guys, it's Angie from Dirty Laundry. On Friday, August 17th, the fans were waiting in line for the hit film, The Hunger Games. Fans have been waiting for this moment since March 23rd. That's the release date of the theaters. A huge release DVD party was held in Blockbuster. Well, this party was a bit different. Who needs movie t-shirts and movie treats if you can have survival skills and a tribute makeover? The party kept the fans busy, so just to see how the tributes themselves were enjoying their special treats, we caught up with three super fans, Lizzie, Melanie, and Lauren, who just learned a few tricks of self-defense for the Hunger Games. The two finger trick. Yes. Like, basically when a person grabs you, there's always those two fingers that can stick out. All you gotta do is like try to get out of it, basically. Said Lauren. Now let's get down to business. Hunger Games is a new franchise with many fans behind their back. Does that sound familiar? Um, yes, it's called Twilight. If you don't know what Twilight is, here are some keywords. Sparkling vampires, werewolves, Bella Swan, Edward Cullen, Forks, and Robert Pattinson. Drool. Twilight became a hit franchise. So many fans fell in love with the books and the films, forming a connection with the characters. The franchise itself created a new era, a style, and a whole new world for movies. The saga is setting out its last installment in November 16th this year, the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2. You know, the one where Bella finally becomes a vampire? Spoiler alert. The Twilight Saga skyrocketed to the clouds in 2008, pushing Harry Potter to the edge of a cliff. Now that the saga's ending, a new movie is coming over to take over the biz, The Hunger Games. The book itself had an amazing response with all kinds of readers, adults too. But as always, when you hear about a book that you've never heard about, what do you do? You question it. What is The Hunger Games? I was like, what is The Hunger Games? I'm like, where is that from? So I started reading it and I was like, wow, this is actually really good. Surprise, surprise. I saw the trailer in um, the Twilight movie. And <laughs> <laughs> I saw the trailer and then I read, got the book, the first one, and I became obsessed. Well, who wouldn't be obsessed? I am. Since Hunger Games is starting its whole new world, Let's ask our fans if there's any hard feelings between Twilight and the Hunger Games. Is there any competition? It's pretty big compared to the Twilight. It's a different um, theme and it's a different story, but it's still pretty big like the Twilight ones. That's very true. Have you guys heard the plot, the setting of the Hunger Games? It's completely different from vampires and werewolves. I don't think it's like such competition because it's ending already and the Hunger Games just started, so it's not like huge. Like what they say, a new beginning starts after an ending. Um, I think it could. Every franchise has the potential to grow. Woo, the games are heating up here. If the Hunger Games were to happen, we better start preparing. So we asked our super fans how they could prepare themselves. I would not survive and I'd probably, <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably run for my life. Oh my god, I can't even run fast so I probably won't even survive. So I'll probably just hide in the dirt, cover myself with everything. Hopefully no one steps on my face. I think my specialty would probably have to be like n knives or like swords. I think we found ourselves our victor. Catching Fire is the sequel to The Hunger Games. After winning the games, Katniss and Peeta face more challenges between their love and their life. The winning victors see that the games will never end when the quarter quill sets in the arena. Now that Catching Fire is set to release next year, 2013, in November, these past few weeks and months, the producers and crew members have been breaking bones to cast newcomers for the Catching Fire. It's been announced that Stephanie Scarlard was casted to play Kashmir, the beautiful blonde tribute from District 1, as well looking for confirmation that Sam Clern will be playing the gorgeous Finlick. Now with a new director on board, the cast is filled with excitement on filming the next installment with new material to impress their audience, their fans, with what they would like to see, as well as Gray Ross presented. Let's play a game, what scenes should be on Catching Fire? The part that I would want to see in the movie is like when they're on the train together and they spend the night together on the train, because that was like one of my favorite parts, that whole train sequence, so I really, really hope that they do a good job with that. And Catching fire. That's when the girl on fire sets sparks. The relationship between her and Gil be enforced into this movie. Well, who doesn't like to see Katniss and Gil? We just saw a little bit of Hunger Games. We can't wait to see what's going to happen in Catching Fire, don't we? You guys can go ahead and like us on Facebook, Dirty Laundry. We do love to tweet at It's Dirty Laundry, and we do Tumblr every day. We do follow back. So you can go ahead and do that. Tumblr, Dirty Laundry Girls. 
I'm Angie from Dirty Laundry. Thank you guys so much. And we'll be here on 24-7 Miami. Yeah.